Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy Bam Bam, your Dark Road Runner, back again for another video. And uh, this one, uh, I recorded this once, but uh, lost my temper. And um, I'm gonna try to keep a, a little more of a level mind in this one. Um, guys, like with this whole protest thing, I, I, I don't agree with it being at City Hall. I don't. Like, you see what's happening in New York, okay? New York, the city finally got involved, and, um, you know, Uber just punched, I'm sorry, New York just punched Uber in the gut extremely hard. Just be patient, be patient. Like, Uber is going to realize what a clusterfuck New York is going to be now and, um, you know, it's just the TN TNLC plate is too grand. And the only way you can get it now is if you have a wheelchair accessible vehicle. Do you have a wheelchair accessible vehicle? I don't. I use my personal vehicle. I don't want the city to get involved because if they're going to put any kind of cap on it, this is how they're going to do it. Um, excuse me. I just ate. It was delicious. Get some tacos. <laughs> Um, tell you what I do agree with. Like I said, there are things that we can we can agree on, <clears throat> um, and that is that um, the pay rate increase. I, I do agree with that. You know, um, and um, so it's just watching a clusterfuck of cars right here, trying to get out of the lot. Um, the pay rate increase, right? I say at least a dollar a mile, unless you're going to give us benefits. Offer two dollars a mile. I pay four cents for Aon insurance a mile, and I securely know that if something goes wrong with my car, you know, I I'm covered. You know, I, if I'm out of a job, I can, you know, I still have something to, to fall back on. You know, if it's something like dollar fifty, two dollars a mile, which is like I said in the Uber Works video. Um, you know, if you if Uber came to, uh, you know, a health insurance company and said, "Hey, we have all these drivers. You know, what would you charge? Five, ten cents a mile for health coverage, right?" Um, I would sign up. I would do it. You know, and I mean, a lot of a lot more people will benefit off of me because last time I was in a hospital, I was like, I could, I just couldn't stop the bleeding. Thank you for stopping the bleeding. Glue it back together. They were like, no, you really need stitches. And I was like, I don't want to be here as much as you don't want me here. Okay? I hadn't been to a hospital in eight years. I haven't been sick in ten years. You know? Says the vertigo thing, but that seemed to have gone away. I don't... I haven't been drinking that much. Um, I, did, I, I did on the night of the comedy club. I had four beers that night. You know? I just... I'm not really drinking right now. But, um... But yeah, like, and as for another thing, like, that Driver Unite thing, guy, whatever, like, I just recently saw him, like, if he had so much to say, and I know he knows who I am, I know he knows who I am, like, why didn't you say this stuff to my face, like, you know, next time, don't be a pussy, say it to my face, um, it's another thing, um, my channel might be small, but um, my channel might be small, but I know I'm at a point right now where, like, I see in my analytics, 70% of all my views are people from people that are not subscribed, which means that my videos are starting to pop up in other people's uh, home feeds. So, um... Not only do I know that there, there's there's actually three of the protesters that I that I've seen around, and it's like, you know, they know who I am, you know, and they know how I feel about this. If you don't like doing it, don't do it. If it makes you a vengeful person, don't do it. If something is working in your life, keep doing it. If something is not working in your life, stop doing it. And that's true for anything in life. Okay, the number one most important question in your life is what makes you happy. Does, does, does complaining and crying really make you that happy? Like, not to be, you know, <laughs> you know, not to be 
that guy, but it's like, guys, nothing comes easy in life, all right? I've been working since I can remember. If it wasn't lemonade stands in the spring and summer, it was raking leaves in the fall and shoveling snow in the winter. When I was 14, I got my first my first restaurant job. I was a dishwasher for $5 an hour, you know, and I've been working all of my life. I went to New Orleans with just a suitcase and less than 100 bucks in my pocket five years ago, and I can say confidently that five years ago, I was sleeping on park benches, and now I sit in a $20,000 car. You know, you guys, I don't know where this, like, it's hard to say, man. It's I don't know where all this, like, entitlement came from, but, like, it's, you know, it's not, it's not nothing comes easy in life. You are going to have to put in some work and it's like there are there is some good money to be made out here. But you're not going to make it if you're just sitting around. You have to get out. You have to drive. You have to you know, if you get discouraged at every turn, maybe this isn't for you, you know? There's there's you know, I have now driven in two markets. Two markets. And um both of them were great markets. I don't know what it's like to drive in New York, but New York is just people on top of people on top of people. They needed some regulation, okay? And I also think that Florida needs some regulation too. But Chicago does not. It does not. This is a great market, you know. It's uh, it's it's definitely there's plenty of room for everyone here. And um, if you're gonna if you're gonna demonstrate if you're gonna protest, you know for the mileage rate, do take your 900 people and go to the Uber Hub. Don't do it at City Hall. Don't do it at City Hall, because when you get the city involved, I just say be patient. Look at what's happening in New York. New York just punched Uber in the gut, and already you guys are like, yeah, we should do it too. And it's like, but there's no need to here. This is not a bad market. There is good money to be made out here. So. I mean, it's just, just pay rate, benefits, stop price gouging the passengers. Do we need a pay cap? No. No, we don't. Because nothing ever comes easy these days. Nothing ever comes easy in life. And yes, nice, more money would be nice. I agree. I agree. But you can still make some good money doing this. And if, if the city gets involved and fucks around with the regulations. I mean, shit, how many things do I have in my windows right now? Like, I have a chauffeur's license, a lift amp, a camera, a, you know, Uber, Lyft sticker, a transponder, a Via sticker. I've got the same in the back and a TMP sticker. It's like, how, uh, inspection sticker, oil change sticker. Like, how many things do you want in our windows? Like, I mean, that's small compared to like, but like, how many more certifications, like, do we need, really, you know? So, this is just, just, you know, think, think really hard about what it is you're asking for, okay? I don't want to see what's happening in New York come here to Chicago, and I don't agree with going to City Hall for the, uh, your little strike there, okay? I don't agree with that. Go to the Uber Hub. That'll make, that'll make a difference, you know? That'll get the word to Uber back, you know, faster you know, then, then, then city hall, city hall will, yeah, they'll contact Uber real quick, but we're not going to see changes for a while and it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt guys. Don't, don't do it at city hall. Trust me. Trust me. All the things that will come out of this are just, it's just going to make things worse and it's going to make it worse for the riders too, because no one's going to want to drive the price of the, the T TLC plate is going to skyrocket. All these rich people are going to buy them out, and the next thing you know, we're renting cars from people that are richer than us. It's going to screw, and then nobody's going to want to drive. Kiss your referral code goodbye. And, um, you know, the, the city's going to be in such a massive flat surge, so there's still going to be price gouging the passengers. And um, um, and uh, and they're going to switch to Lyft, and Lyft is going to be a prime, t prime time all the time too. So just be patient, please, guys. Deuces. I gotta let you guys go. I'm gonna crash for a few hours. Take a little nap. Alright. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Be safe out here. Number one, be safe out here. Deuces. Oh, and if you're one of the 70%, subscribe. I'll see you guys.